guys welcome back to my channel my name is Carla and today as you can see from the title I'm going to be doing a video on how to become a youtuber but before I get into that I want to say this is a part of the small black youtuber challenge where pretty much we use this video to inspire other black creators bring light to them and just overall uplift each other so with my video um i wanted to kind of make it more engaging so that you guys aren't just sitting here listening to me talk and also make it relate to everyone so i'm going to be doing my makeup during this video and i have 10 steps on how to start a youtube channel and then i'm also going to give you my own personal like spill on what it's like to be a black youtuber so let's get started Start with brows and the first thing you need to think about when starting or wanting to start a YouTube channel is why. The reasoning behind why you want to be a YouTuber is very important because this is pretty much going to set the foundation of the content you drive. So when I started my YouTube channel, I originally started it because I wanted to build a name for myself in the dance industry. If you're starting YouTube to make money, then I can tell you right now, you're not going to reach that goal because your mindset is not there. If you're going to do it for money, it's going to take a long time and you're going to lose interest and find another way to make money. But if you want to do it for the general enjoyment of filming videos and making people smile or whatever it is that you want to do, like inform people, then you'll probably get farther than someone who just wants to do it for money. Speaking as someone who looked at the money as a plus, I don't even think about it anymore because it takes such a long time and I have not reached that goal by a milestone, okay? It's a very long process, so I suggest that if that's the reason you want to do it, just go find a job. <laughs> thing that is super important when starting a YouTube channel is your consistency. When I started my channel, I was way, way better at it than I am now, which is why my channel kind of grew quickly. I haven't even been on YouTube for two years yet, and I've already gained 800 subscribers, which isn't a lot, but it's a lot for me, so thank you guys. But consistency was a big part of this growth, and um, you really need to stay on top of it and kind of like find a happy medium because you don't want to upload too little and you don't want to upload too much because people can get tired of you so you want your viewers to kind of miss you and like ask when the next upload is rather than you uploading every second and they can't get away from you so it's kind of a tricky thing it all depends on the youtuber some youtubers can upload every day and their subscribers are the happiest little beans on earth and others, their subscribers are fine with two to three times a week. Honestly, in this day and age, uploading once a week doesn't even really cut it anymore, but everyone needs to grow at their own pace. So when starting out, definitely pick a day for yourself. I don't recommend telling your viewers this day because if you fall short, then they're going to they gonna be a little upset. So what I did was I just picked a day in my head. Mine was Saturdays when I first started, and I used Saturdays as my uploading days and yeah that's pretty much how that went so please stay consistent because consistency is definitely key another huge part about growing your channel is you have to have patience okay you have to realize that this is not an easy journey and growth does not come overnight no matter what anyone tells you okay no matter what my channel i would say my hardest like milestone to overcome for me was my first 100 subscribers that was really hard to reach and that's because you're starting out no one really knows who you are you're kind of setting the base for who you are to the world and it takes time for people to like you so um depending on the content you make and the things that you bring to your channel that's really how it depends so if you have a friend who's a youtuber you don't want to compare their growth and yours because you have two different audiences so you have to make sure that you're feeding yours the way that they're feeding theirs and realize that this is not an easy journey you're gonna want to give up you're gonna want to just say forget it and never upload again or upload three months later but you have to have that dedication i was talking about earlier and realize that youtube is not for everyone and the fact that you're even starting one and committing to it makes you way 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 more um efficient and you just have more of a drive because some people 
they won't be able to make it, okay? You'll have friends that start YouTube channels, call you sub and watch their videos, and guess what? You won't see them within the next uh, six months to a year of starting their channel because it's just not for everyone. It's hard and it's not fun all the time, but you gotta realize what you're signing up for what you're signing up for before you start it. Don't start already having the mindset that you're gonna quit if you don't do like a certain thing in a certain amount of time, if that makes any sense. And believe in yourself, okay? Cause sometimes ain't nobody gonna believe in you but you, your content, okay? When you're starting a channel, you kinda already, already have an idea of what you wanna post, but you need to understand that YouTube, like any other social media platform, has trends. And these trends, you're gonna wanna follow them. Not every trend will speak to you, but if you really wanna grow your channel, you're gonna have to, I know a lot of people start a channel and they're like, I'm gonna be different, totally out of the box. Well, people don't usually search up totally different out of the box YouTube videos. They look for what's trending. So when these trends do arise, you can make the videos that you love, but you need to also cater to the audience of the people on YouTube. So when these trends come, it will be in your best interest if you just, hopped on the trend as they say if you have a video that kind of that is trending and under that like um line of videos that are trending right now then they're gonna obviously see you and youtube is more likely to um put your video up there when i started my channel i started off as just making hair videos and like get ready with me because that's all i really had the drive to do and those alone did grow my channel a lot, especially the hair videos. I personally like K-pop, it's all over my room if you can see in the background. And I was like, why not do K-pop reactions because I know they do super well on YouTube. So me and my friends film reaction videos and that really grew my channel. <laughs> when I say really, I mean really, but you don't want to be disingenuine. So don't do things that aren't like up your alley because trust me, viewers will see when you're really into something and when you're just doing it for views. So you need to be careful for that also, but make sure your content is up there with YouTube, okay? Your quality, okay? Video quality is a big deal in YouTube and people don't like watching videos that aren't good quality. Now this does not mean you need to go to Best Buy and splurge on a camera and a whole bunch of video equipment, but it does mean that you need to make sure that when you're cutting and editing your videos, that you're doing it well. No one likes to see a poorly edited video where you leave in a whole bunch of rambling that didn't need to be there. It's worse when people click on your video and then click out within two seconds than them not watching it at all. So you wanna keep your viewers engaged with the quality of your editing. Please make sure when you're editing, you, um, you might want to like have some trial videos first where you edit and then you have a friend watch and say like oh what does does this look like interesting to you if you have a hour-long video of you doing a get ready with me that's what are you doing like an hour an hour 50 59 minutes who's gonna watch that unless you're beyonce and i don't think you're beyonce so you better clip it okay <laughs> thumbnails okay this is so important like you don't even know this is the first thing people see before clicking on your video and if they don't like the thumbnail they will not watch your video they don't care what it's about what you're saying they won't watch it because it doesn't look appealing it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing like if i see an aesthetically pleasing thumbnail even if i wasn't looking for that particular video i will watch it because it gives me that notion that oh this person must edit their videos like this or they must show like this much care to the content they're creating when i make thumbnails i make drafts i make sure that there's different versions i sometimes solicit some friends and i'm like so which one would you click on like this is something that is very important to the growth of your channel and who's gonna watch the next thing that you need to know about before starting your youtube channel is copyright so before starting my YouTube channel, I kind of knew about the copyright claim, but I didn't know at what extent and how serious YouTube takes it. So you need to know that you cannot use people's music who have a copyright claim on it in your videos or else your videos will be demonetized. Even if they're not monetized, they're just going to be ineligible for monetization. And well, what that means is you pretty much can't make money from it. And it also kind of like... Um, 
so that's just something like if you're not making money or you don't care to make money on the video you kind of don't really care about that and you just go about your day like me i don't make money on my videos anyway so when they do get that claim on it i just say whatever but if you are monetized and you're losing money on that entire video and then you can get a copyright strike copyright strikes are way different from copyright claims a copyright claim is when someone goes well when someone claims the audio to your video so they now have claim over that video and whatever money that video makes goes to them you can have partial monetization where it's um pretty much like a cover like if you sing the cover of someone's song then it'll be a copyright claim on it because it's not your song but you can like still make money from it if that makes sense so you just have to like know what it is that you're aiming for and know that um there are risks when using music in youtube videos a lot of youtubers complain about it some don't really talk about it at all but it's something that you really need to uh, keep in mind when making a video coming to a close but not yet we have two more points another thing that you need to focus well not focus on but have understanding of is your comment section so when i started youtube the comment section was not blocked but they then started like i think early no late last year they started a thing where like if you were under the age of 18 then your comments were disabled but then my comments turned back on so i don't know if they like threw away with that but just in case they didn't now you know and for the things that you need to know about the comment section is you're not always going to see what you want to see in there okay you may have slaved away on a video and someone is going to be that one person to dislike the video or comment something totally ignorant under the video as a black youtuber um the comment section has been a very hit or miss thing for me um i'm not one to let people's opinions who i don't know affect me like if i don't know you your opinion has no value to me and it just <laughs> it just does not affect me so in one of my reaction videos as i told you i do k-pop reactions someone um commented and they said if i can find the screenshot of the comment because i kept it there it's still there you can go see it but it pretty much was like i hate to see niggers um reacting to like k-pop or um yeah just k-pop or asian pop or whatever and so i just simply commented and i said thank you for the thank you for the view because at the end of the day you just brought my engagement up and you gave me a view so thanks but a lot of people aren't like me and i'm not even like that all the time like you just have to know okay so please be careful with the comment section because she can be ruthless but she can also lift you up because i got a lot of positivity out of my comment section definitely more positive than negative this is the end of my makeup look but just to give you a quick recap on what it's like to be a black youtuber just like being anything black in america it is hard i'm not gonna say you're at a complete disadvantage because that is totally not true but you are kind of putting a box on what you should on what people expect of you they expect you to either do hair videos or makeup videos or just flat out crazy story times about your crazy black life but for me that's not the case of course i do do makeup videos and i do hair videos but i also incorporate i'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors like they're way too loud they're always loud and i've been trying to film all week and i'm so sorry if you can hear them but but like everything else you just have to break that mold and people are going to love you for who you are like they love youtube is all about personality and i mean that in the fullest like if you have a good personality you're going to build a following on youtube because that is what youtube is about that is what people are looking for and people to subscribe to just remember when making your channel think about what would you want to see and you should answer a lot of your own questions so this is the end of my video i would like to nominate abby and brie tv to do this challenge as well if you do not know who they are they are two best friends who are amazing amazing people and i suggest you go over to their channel right now and binge all their videos because they are amazing and i'm not just saying that because they are my friends i'm saying that because i actually sit there and watch their videos which says something okay so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Make sure you go and you sign petitions and you donate and do everything that you can do to help this Black Lives Matter movement because, listen, the fight is not over and it won't be over for a while. So, 
gear up, get ready. <laughs> the war has begun.